Okay, so the first thing I'm getting here, it's almost like I'm getting someone um, at a finish line. You know, there's only like 100 feet and they have to go to the finish line and it's like I'm getting these um, energies like keep going to tell them to keep going. You're almost there. So with the Ten of Cups here, um, you know, we'll definitely have to break this down like we always do into a lot more. But there is something here about like a finality which I feel is representing like this Ace of Wands is the outcome between you and this person the next one to two months or so. Could be more, but it's like a feeling of like we're almost there to the finish line. So I do feel like, you know, there's a lot of energy coming up here. The Lovers, the Hermit, the Four of Wands is how this person is thinking and feeling about you. So I feel like there's an overall sense of like a completion here in terms of maybe a union of sorts that is coming together because these two people here are in like a union kind of feeling. And um, that's what I'm seeing here. There's like a final push to have these this flame ignited here in some kind of way between the two of you. So with the Ten of Cups being the connecting energy between you both right now, You know, again, this Ten of Cups to me feels like a, a vision that we have or some kind of manifestation of a connection. So I feel like... So, the, okay, with the Page of Swords up here, I'm hearing I have my eye on you. So there is somebody here who has their eye on you. I feel like this Page of Swords is actually where this energy is coming through. Like, I'm almost there. I'm almost here. I have my eye on you. So I could very well see it could be someone who is, like, on the periphery of wanting to um, have this union with you or to come towards you. And I'm hearing the word indirect, so they could be doing something right now that is quite indirect, or this is maybe like an indirect kind of feeling. Um, and I'm getting with the Five of Wands, this is, it's almost like I feel too, this could be a connection which has had a lot of interferences in terms of, it could be other people, it could be other situations, it could be just internal conflicts, but it's like I feel like that is also almost dissolving like the obstacles surrounding this connection have dissolved or are almost dissolving so i feel like this does feel to me for most of you watching this it depends on like your status again we'll get more but it feels like for the most part this is a connection which is again like almost at a form of coming together or as always with these readings, sometimes it can be someone that you don't even know yet. So if it could be someone that you're manifesting in spirit, then it might be speaking to that too, to where there's like a union on the horizon for you, which I think has been coming up in the last few months. So it's like it's increasing, it's getting closer and closer here. And I'm getting two people laughing together. Actually, that came up for the last collective reading I did. I mentioned something about like a castle. I'm seeing that again with the lovers. So it feels like there's this feeling of like, we want to be together, or like, I hope that this union here, these two people, see it's like the same people too, I feel, um, can be together. And I feel like this is something that is like on the um, outskirts currently right now, or is about to kind of manifest is something coming through. And this person, how they're thinking and feeling about you being the four of wands, Again, I'm getting this feeling to where there's two people who are pushing everyone else away or pushing away all the other obstacles in order to make this union happen. So I feel like this person who's coming up and how they're feeling about you, they either like in the physical world are doing that right now to where they are pushing away all other kind of obstacles or it's more like a spiritual level too, to where I feel like they are like I'm, I'm getting somebody also maturing a lot. For some of you, this could be maybe a long time, or I don't know why they're showing me like a time lapse. You know how some people on YouTube, they post a time lapse of like when they were young and they take a picture of themselves every day. I don't know why I'm seeing that. I'm not sure what that is referring to, but maybe it's either been a long time since this has happened, or maybe they've just matured a lot or changed a lot. But let's get some confirmation here and see what we have so what is the energy of this connection between you and this person with the Ten of Cups? 
Yeah, I, I think that's why they're showing it to me. They're, they're referring now with the time lapse that something is speeding up quickly. Um, it's like maybe it was a feeling of like one picture a day, which takes forever, but now like the camera roll went really quickly and now we're speeding everything up. So I think that with this Ten of Cups, it's kind of like in view now. This this final kind of union or conclusion is in view. But tell us a little bit more about the connecting energy between you and this person. I'm also getting a feeling of, of moving from one space to another in order to like, like a completely new, new space though. It feels like, you know, emptying a room, changing the entire surroundings and moving into a completely new zone or new room. So there could be something about moving here. We have secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Yeah, definitely I feel like this is with the Page of Swords. There's someone who has been, again, having their eye on you very heavily recently. And I almost feel like I'm getting this feeling of like, you are my Ten of Cups. And they almost want to kind of like cough it up. I think that came up before too about the coughing. Um, they want to maybe express that I may have been, you know, lapsed behind you before, but the finish line is almost here. So this could be like a secret admirer, could be revealing themselves very soon. And again, it could be someone that you know, it could be someone that is just purely a secret admirer. Because I know collectively there's been a message coming up about like a, a better, like a higher love coming in for many of you. So it could also be that. So we'll see what else we have. But um this just flew out. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There's no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. So this, to me, feels like a surrender is happening, which is the same kind of feeling as that finish line to where there's almost like a feeling to where um, we can't really, um, like with the Five of Wands here, we can't really push uphill anymore there has to be more of a surrender in terms of this is what i feel for this person this is what i feel for this connection and moving into a, this place of more of a union what is the connecting energy between you and this person that's coming through today i'm hearing something about a field you are the sunflower in a field so i feel like you could stand out to this person a lot passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. At the bottom, we do have Twin Flames. So that will not be for everybody, but um, I just saw also now a vision of like a, a phone that was cut off, like the cords were cut off or like an old, like an, in the older days, you know, or not older days, but just like when we didn't use cell phones for everything. Um, and it's like it was unplugged and now the phone is plugged back in so it's back online like we can call if we want to but before it was offline so this could be a twin flame connection i definitely feel like with the lovers and the four of wands it very well could be so if you are in a twin flame situation this could be even more so for you but yeah i feel like i forgot what i was saying before that but with the passion here yeah, I almost feel like both of you have gone through a glow up, I'm hearing. So this could be you and this person both have really changed a lot, really gone through a glow up in your own personal lives. And it feels like this is also what is being the catalyst for this to come together. So the main focus of the reading is, again, the Page of Swords, Secret Admirer. Basically, it's someone who has been on the precipice of this sort of finish line to come towards you and a surrender and an acceptance of the feelings that we have for for them you know or the feelings that you have for them um so let's see a little bit more here tell me about this and then i'll go into how they're feeling about you here in a second but tell us more about the connecting energy between you both being the ten of cups Yeah, I'm seeing two people dancing around something for a while and then finally it breaks down. Like, you know, two people who could be with the Four of Swords, yeah, the Four of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Like, there's been a held back energy here, maybe on both ends. Obviously, it came up as the connecting energy between you. So, there could be a feeling of like, you know, you both have been on pause for a while. You both have been um, not doing anything or not. I'm hearing secret code or cracking the code with the page of cups. It's almost like there's a certain special code to get into each other's hearts, if that makes any sense. 
and I think that there's also just more on like simple terms there's been a defensiveness here there's been a feeling of like we are um, waiting we're looking at this over here but we're not actually doing anything to get there and I think that with the page of cups it's that breakthrough moment to where again we kind of surrender that we break down the walls and um, I'm seeing somebody listening really closely to what's being said, almost like an owl kind of energy. So there might also be some news coming in that you have to listen very closely to. This could be intuitively. It could also be that this is directly from this person. It's also kind of like with the phone core being plugged back in and the secret admirer. There might be a lot of telepathic exchange happening. Or for those of you who this is like a, a purely a, like a new or secret admirer that you don't know about, you could be kind of plugging yourself back into your intuition sort of and beginning to pick up that there's somebody coming in. So you would probably be feeling this because you seem to have a magnetic quality around you already. So you would, you would, you would probably be picking this up that like somebody's coming in, whoever they are, there's definitely somebody and it definitely feels like it's a very strong connection. So either meeting your twin flame for the first time or maybe a coming together. Um, It's just like there's movement. There's movement. It's like someone who's been laying down for a while. Um, and they've been laying in bed for a while and then they finally move. They start to get up and feel like their heart wants to start moving now. So there's, I feel like it's like there's movement in terms of like, I want to do something now about this. I finally want to take action and not just sort of dream about it or not just think about it is the feeling here. I'm hearing also, some of you, this could have been a very long time coming. So it may have been that this pause or this reset button has been for a very long time, either in your own personal love life or between you and this person. And so that could be where it's like that phone cord gets plugged back in and it's kind of shocking in a way because, because we put it back online after waiting for a very long time for that to happen. I'm also getting to that if this has already happened for some of you, because it depends on your timeline, this could be a few things. It could be that this has already happened, or it could also be that you have been receiving offers from other people too that's been coming in. And this could be what is also waking you back up to your passion that you feel for yourself and kind of like, again, it's like a feeling of like a giddiness almost, or like a sensation of, of I'm excited here. And actually, I remember this Ace of Wands came up for the collective reading too. And I mentioned that there was somebody new coming in or maybe a union of some kind. So this feels like the same thing to where like we feel that our love lives have been sort of stagnant for so long that it felt like we were just in this dry kind of energy or just laying down. But then it's like there's this magnetic boost that comes in within yourself so maybe some of you have just been feeling this within yourself maybe you've been seeing that there's more people interested in you recently or there's more um, action kind of in your environment recently so one more card and then I'll move over to this person what is the connecting energy between you and this so what kind of connection is this spirit that we're talking about here in this reading between the two of you Okay, I don't think I'm going to take those. I've been feeling too many. What is the connecting energy here between you and this person? What is the connection? We have marriage. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union. Yeah, definitely. There's a sacred union here with the lovers as well. And I'm also hearing too that this is actually a direct result of all of the work that you've done on yourself. I just saw the self-care card at the bottom too. And it really feels like that's why it's a long time coming. It feels like a release of emotion here because you may have felt that, um, you know, this would never happen or look at this. So we have twin flame and we have chemistry. So yeah, this is a pretty clear message. I think for a lot of you, um, it feels very exciting. Like I feel like I want to talk really quickly here and just like, um, it just feels very exciting. So I do think that if you align with this reading and you truly resonate with it, um, we'll go into them now and see if you can recognize, you know, this connection, but it's somebody who's either already a part of your life or it's like a feeling to where that puzzle is about to come in. And it's like this 
yeah, it's a twin flame union is really what it is. It feels like, and even if you don't resonate with the label of twin flame, we have passion again. It could be anything else. It could be any type of soul connection for that matter. And I'm seeing somebody crawling out from under a bridge, you know, so the whole theme here is like it's time to move out of that feeling of fear. But let's go ahead and look at this person who's coming up then. So can you show us, um, let's just look first at who they are in general. They have the Ten of Pentacles here. Who is this person who's coming up as being connected to the viewer? Who is this person who's coming up as being connected? So I just saw a really strong vision of like a, like almost like a fault line in the earth and it split this person into completely two different directions. So hmm, let's see, who is this person coming up as being connected to the viewer? with the Ten of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess. And we have here the Six of Cups. This is definitely somebody who you have a very strong, again, like soul connection to. I'm getting with the Six of Cups and the Lovers and the Four of Wands to come up in the same reading and the High Priestess and I just saw the Hierophant. This is actually really because the Hierophant is the counterpart of the High Priestess too. This is a very, very, very deep, deep soul connection here. And I'm getting this person is, they're showing me that time lapse again. I'm not sure what that means. Tell me a little bit more about this person. Who are they? The Queen of Wands. Yeah, so this is somebody who, with the Queen of Wands here and the Wheel of Fortunes at the bottom and the Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords is beneath that. Again, I'm feeling this very faded event happening with the Wheel of Fortune. That's why they show me the fault line splitting. It's like there's a really big change here that's happening with this Ace of Swords. Um, I'm seeing a lot of rearranging, a lot of rearranging of timelines, a lot of a lot of shifting right now. It could even be that like during this current time that we're tapping into this person. There could be a lot changing for them or a lot that is like being maneuvered sort of in the background for them, it feels like. And let's get a little bit more to see because I'm not, let's see a little bit more about this person. Can you tell me more details about who this person is, Spirit? This just flew out. We have interested and at the bottom I'm seeing relationship material. I'm hearing a message that some of you, this is someone that you don't really know, like maybe you're here at the reading and you, like I'm getting something to where you're questioning if someone is actually interested in you. And the reason that flew out is because Spirit's wanting to confirm that yes, this person is very interested in you. And there's almost a feeling of the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords. It's creeping up behind you in a way to where like it's going to reveal itself and show that yes, this person does feel the same way. This person is indeed interested in you. Um, and I feel like it's this sort of confirmation somehow that you needed because I feel like with the Queen of Wands and the High Priestess, again, this is a very highly spiritual connection. And so you likely are very tapped into everything that's going on. You're very tapped into like intuitively yourself kind of. And I think this person is also very aware of your presence. It's like they're very aware of who you are and what you like, what kind of value that you hold on a spiritual level. So this is somebody who's coming up as very tapped in sort of to the vibration of what this connection is on a twin flame level, if that makes sense. I don't know if maybe they weren't before. I'm not sure if 
because spirits show me somebody tipping, tiptoeing around. Um, and then they just say, I don't care anymore. And they just start stomping on the floor. So there's this feeling of like, I'm not going to tiptoe around this anymore. Maybe they're going to make themselves much more known to you. You know, like they're not going to tiptoe. It's going to be more of like, I am interested in you. Because that just flew before I even shuffled it. So I think that there's this feeling of like, here I am. I'm stomping on the ground. Um, I do think that if it hasn't happened already, you're about to, I mean, there's definitely somebody that's about to reveal themselves and they're very intrigued, very interested, very much wanting to go from nothing to something or go from trickling to a rushing river. That's what it feels like here. Um, and I haven't looked at how they feel about you directly, but some of this is connected to that. And I don't know why this is totally crooked, but whatever, it's all on this side. What is this person? Tell me more about this person here. I'm seeing a howling wolf. That could be a totem for some of you. Again, there's almost like a howling for you. You know, it's kind of interesting, but it's like they feel could even be because of this. It could be long distance for some of you. They're howling out your name. They're howling for you. Um, it's something. And like I said before, you know, it could even be someone that is whatever it's going to be for you. It's like someone that is going to like there's a strong um desire to meet you whether that's for the first time or whether it's like two souls colliding for the first time or it's someone that is from a distance from you right now as you're watching this in the physical world and they've been again there's a very loud energy is the best way to put it there's a loudness to what they're feeling um with the stomping reference and all of that there's definitely a loudness and now i'm seeing the moon or like a like something was eclipsed out before and now it's shining really bright now we can see it in full full color tell us more about this person and who they are this person connected to the viewer can you tell us more about them okay so we have poor boundaries Tell us more about this person. I'm seeing somebody smoking cigarettes for some reason. So maybe they, um, maybe it's just representing they had bad boundaries when it comes to self-care or when it comes to certain habits they've had. Who is this person coming through? I'm getting a Z name here. We have Aries. It could be an Aries. They do not have to be. We have family issues. We have summer so with the Ten of Pentacles here, this person, I'm getting that this is someone who really, really wants to come towards you right now. It's like, that's what I'm getting with that phone line and the, it's like I'm getting someone scrambling to try to make it in time. And I think with the family issues, they could be um, like almost hearing you, like they're ho you're howling over here, but then they also have other things going on and they're trying to sort of figure all of this out with the strategizing too, they could even be strategizing in the spring and then in summer, um, they will be taking some kind of action because I feel like they can't really sort of stop thinking about this or they can't feel less drawn to you. Um, yeah, they could be in the background here, secret admirer. Maybe you don't know that they feel this way or it's something where Yeah, because I'm hearing that I'm seeing the tiptoeing again. Maybe they tiptoed around this for a while or depending on who this is to you, if you're already like in contact or dealing with somebody right now, maybe you feel on this deep level like this is my person. This chemistry is ex like very strong. This passion between us, this feeling. Oh, yeah, we have Secret Admirer twice, um, but maybe they have not revealed themselves yet. So definitely with the Page of Swords, this could go a few different ways. As always, you know, it could be that this is someone that you do not have any idea about right now or in spirit they're admiring you and they're about to make themselves known very soon um it could be still that this is someone that you do know about and um it's like they they again it's getting louder and louder kind of with the strategizing when it comes to you so we will look more in the extended a little bit later at more about them, definitely more in depth here, but family issues. 
Yeah, I'm getting for some of you, this maybe is something to where like, maybe for some reason this connection hasn't been able to be due to family. And I'm actually being shown for a few of you, this is very specific, but if you did cut contact with each other or if they have not contacted you in a while, it may have actually been because of a family member or some family issue that made them block you or made them stop talking to you. That could be for a few of you because I am getting that. There may have been that, that factor to where they had to tiptoe. They couldn't really be with you full, fully or they couldn't express their feelings for you fully due to family. And now, for whatever reason, again, they don't care about kind of that noise that they're making with you or they don't care to make it known, kind of. So it makes sense when I mentioned with the Four of Pentacles here too, the Page of Cups, that it's like the ice is about to crack. Okay. So let's see, I know it's not Christmas anymore, but I don't really care because I love this deck under the Mistletoe Oracle. Um, what is this person thinking and feeling about you? I just saw here we have your spirit guides and passed on loved ones are with you. And I'm hearing that's because I feel like I'm almost getting there's a sense of relief coming in to where it's like maybe all of these obstacles or whatever had happened here. It's like now your love life is being guided by a higher power, which before it felt like it wasn't or before it felt like things were going in the opposite way of your favor. And I feel like now there's like this more of a with the lovers, there's definitely there's definitely like a very strong love sensation in the collective right now. I'm not sure if that's astrologically something's going on, but it feels like love and twin flame connections and unions are in the air. What is this person thinking and feeling about you? Tell us about the four of wands. What are they thinking and feeling about you? I'm getting they want, I'm hearing I want to touch you. So this person could want to be very physically close to you. Yeah, with this four of wands, they could be really imagining what it would be like to physically touch you. And again, if it is someone that is like someone that you have yet to meet, it could be that because that does happen and that does come up, especially with twin flame connections. If you are really looking for new love or you really feel like this is a new person, it's like maybe touching you in the physical world for the first time. They've been sort of craving that interaction with you. But either way, they've been wanting to be close to you. Um, there's something about names I keep getting. I don't know if... I keep hearing something like howling your name. What is this person thinking and feeling about you with the Four of Wands? So we have all eyes are on you. This is a lucky time. So yeah, there's a lot of energy to this. There's a lot of like, um, definitely a lot of buzzing energy around this reading. Again, I'm hearing I can't fake it anymore. So I think that, yeah, at the bottom here we have snow day, a secret crush wants to have some fun with you. So we have the word secret three times. And then we have the universe is supporting you and showing the way but we also have another confirmation of that so i don't know this is definitely someone that's in secret though there's somehow they're secretive somehow you either don't know them or they are just very much secretly admiring you and again it's like it's about to break it's about to with the sign here there is there's this feeling of like this is the path they feel with these little orbs in the air there's something about you. There's something about kind of the feeling of wanting to be with you, the feeling of wanting to touch you, the feeling of wanting to like, this is mutual, um, is very strong right now, is very much wanting that to happen. And I think that, for some of you I'm hearing, that actually could be why the time lapse is coming up again now. It could be like maybe something to where, this is only gonna be for some of you I feel, Maybe at some point in the past, you agreed to meet up at a later date. 
or it was something to where like when the time is better we will we will meet up again or we will collide again and again that could be in spirit too you know in soul maybe it was something to where you had already said to each other and before you came here in this lifetime that we will find each other again and it's like a feeling to where that time lapse has sped up now to this like actual manifestation of it it's like i feel spirit saying that your guys are saying that like we're ready to reveal this now maybe it wasn't ready for whatever reason or you weren't ready for a twin flame connection before or you weren't ready for a twin flame union before but i feel like there's just been this acceleration to where like we're ready to reveal it now we're not going to hide it from you anymore and i heard the same thing over here with something like i can't fake it anymore so I just feel like there's a feeling of like, we can't really deny our feelings anymore. We can't deny who we're meant to be with anymore. Um, we, on a individual soul level, we are ready for that kind of union, you know, with whoever that's gonna be with. What are they thinking and feeling about you? What is this person thinking and feeling about the viewer? We have fleeting moments and we have you were on the twin flame journey. What are they thinking and feeling about you? Stinging impulsive words. Connect to your ancestors. Please hear me out. Let me speak without interruption. Let me get a few tarot cards to go with this here. What is this person thinking and feeling about you? Yeah, this is the reference of the stomping on the floor and not tiptoeing anymore. They want judgment. Yes, they want this. They want, I don't know how else to put it with this reading. It's such a strong feeling of like, just I want to come out. I want to say this. I want to be seen. I want to meet you. I want, I want to show myself. And it's like, I want you to like, listen to me or acknowledge me or give me a chance. That's what it feels like. What are they thinking and feeling about you? For some of you, there could have been some, um, like an argument maybe, or some stinging words here, impulsive words. And maybe that is part of what this is, the please hear me out. They may want to clarify that with you um, and to kind of bring through more of a feeling of moving out of the fleeting moment and more into a space of like, let me explain what happened or let me explain I don't know, let me explain something here. We have the Eight of, or Three of Pentacles and the Empress. Yeah, I'm hearing getting the courage. So, you know, again, I don't know, Wheel of Fortune here, this person just is having the courage. They have the courage, they're about to have the courage to reveal themselves, to make themselves known, to talk with you, to communicate with you, and with the fleeting moment here. I'm not really sure what that is. If you had a fleeting moment with them, um, let's move forward here because I want to get more into, let me see what they want to say to you. And then again, we will look a lot more in the extended. I'm going to be looking at what could be blocking because we did have the five of wands here too. We're going to be looking more at who this person is what their characteristics are, um, what they are feeling about you, definitely more so. Uh, but let me move along here so it doesn't go too long. Because I feel like it's one of those readings where I could talk for hours because there's a lot of information here. But let's see what they want to say to you to get some clarity. So what does this person want to say to you? Group number, or 
I don't know why I keep doing that. I've done that so many times. <laughs> With the, I think I'm doing a pick a card reading when I start to channel and I don't have a, like a, I just sort of forget what I'm doing. But let's go ahead and see what do they want to say to you for this reading. If this person could say something to you, what do they want to say to help us understand what this person wants you to know? I tried to replace you, but it only made me miss you more. So these won't be for everyone, so just take them how they will connect with you. If this is, if you're taking it as someone that you have yet to meet, you know, that could be the case, or a secret admirer. Um, it feels like, though, for those of you who have this existing connection or you know who this is, that is what this is here, that they tried to replace you, but it just made them miss you more. And it's like I'm seeing this person has... That's why they've been trying to tiptoe because maybe they've been trying to make everything else work with the family issues around them, but it's like they haven't been able to really like make that work or they haven't been able to kind of deny that. So they've been tiptoeing and trying to people please, but it's like they, it's not really working here. Again, we have being with them has made me realize that I only wanted you. I only ever wanted you. So definitely there is a theme here for some of you that if they were involved with somebody else, I think that it really seemed to put off a switch in their mind here to where they have completely changed directions in terms of wanting to be with you. And I am hearing that could be what this is. Some of you, this person is going to have to explain themselves and you... Maybe you don't want to hear them out, or maybe it's just something that they're saying because they're a little bit defensive about it. Like, I know that maybe your words have stung before, or you have the ability to sting me with your words, but please let me speak here. Let me just explain, because there's a lot of this energy in this in this reading. You know, it feels like... Um, it feels like my whole energy has become electrified doing this reading. So I think that there's a lot to kind of discover or a lot to say. So they want you to sort of give them the time of day to explain themselves. Is something coming through? Because the Four of Wands is definitely like a very strong card of, you know, yeah, this person could have family responsibilities right now to take care of. Because we do have family that came up here as well. And that could be why I think I mentioned before I f it kind of came in and then went out. But there was something to where they're trying to do both. Like they may have tried to shut out this connection with you. And they may have been having to tend to their more physical world. Because this is a strong twin flame connection. So they're, you know, earthly human world. And then it's like they try to sort of put you on the back burner or to not um, give this too much attention but then it's sort of like it's both now now they're dealing with the intensity of them feeling your energy again or just whatever happened here wanting to talk with you or wanting to be around you while also trying to juggle the responsibility of their family for someone very specific they could have a family member that's in the hospital or is ill but that's just for someone you would know that could be a confirmation of this person for you My pride and ego has been holding me back from expressing my feelings for you. So I think that's what the Four of Swords was about, the Four of Pentacles. I think that we'll look at the outcome here, but with the judgment too, it's like a feeling to where they want to get that off their chest now. They want to find a way to express that now. Um, it's something that like, that's the tiptoeing reference to. They may have, even if you are in contact with this person, you may find that they have not really been super open, even though you feel the intensity of this connection. Um, and it's like they, it's just been holding them back from really being open with you. Being away from you doesn't feel right within my heart. So there's, again, a very strong energy in this, in this reading of this feeling of like, I don't want to be away from you. I want to be close to you. This person just really wants to be close to you right now. They really just don't want to be away from you. Um, I'm hearing 
I don't know why I'm hearing you feel like you're on Mars or you feel like you're on the moon. So I don't know if that's like an inside joke for someone that they may feel like when they're apart from you that you're all the way up in the moon. They can't get to you. You're so far. I feel this person also could be looking at your photos I'm getting on their camera. Oh my god, we have I've tried dating others but no one measures up to you. This is like tons of these in here and they're not all about that. So this person keeps, that's the main message coming up here. For those of you who this is a past person or not like someone that you're manifesting, um, it is definitely, or it could be both, you know. They obviously have not been able to find anyone else like you. And I'm getting this person has been, it's almost like I'm getting, I don't know why it's coming up this way. I don't know if this person golfs maybe, but I'm seeing somebody going golfing and it's like, um, how do I put this? I don't know really how to explain this, but it's kind of like a feeling that they've been acting like someone else for a long time. Like they've been sort of just participating in life and they've been like, kind of containing themselves even for the image of like for other people to accept them you know um but it's like they're going crazy now it's almost like someone is just becoming a wild animal now and they can't be held back anymore that's just something coming through i don't know i don't i understand if you don't want to talk to me again but will you give me a chance to explain it's like they're kind of going crazy maybe or they not even just about you like it could just be something that like sometimes we have these energies where we hold something in for so long and we like try to be a normal person or something for so long and then we just eventually break that's what it feels like let's get one more We have, our connection is unique like no other. I've searched for it everywhere, but no one is you. I can't believe how many say the exact same thing. Um, beneath that, we have, I want to talk to you badly, but I don't want to lead you on when I'm not ready. And at the bottom, we have, I'm feeling confused about my emotions right now. So again, we'll look more in the extended, but this person with the fleeting moments, they could be feeling um, confused. We'll look at what's next for this connection, but they could be feeling kind of confused, maybe ultimately about what they want long-term maybe, or, but let's look at the outcome here. Okay, so let's see, and then we'll look at the bowl. What is the potential here of this connection spirit in the next maybe one to two months or so? between the two of you with the Ace of Wands. Where is this connection heading? What's going to happen here in this connection in the next one to two months with the Ace of Wands? Yeah, I'm getting this, again, a feeling of like, look at all the fire here. I want to go in that fire. I want to feel that fire. But I'm hearing level-headed. So they might be trying to hold themselves back. Or, of course, you could be. What is the outcome in this connection? Two Aces, Ace of Swords... The moon. Three of cups. Yeah, so some of you, I feel like there's definitely some incoming news, communication, um, clarity, but it's almost like I feel like they're straddling their, or you two, you know, um, kind of like 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 if you're going in a cold, cold ocean or cold pool and you step in very slowly, one foot, and then the, the rest of the body, it's like, I feel like there's going to be some trepidation here, some guardedness here, and maybe like a feeling of, is this okay to, to proceed or like I am so drawn to the fire, I'm so drawn to this coming together with you. but still some fears about like how intense that will be if that happens. And if you're already like talking or already, cause I think that's why this card came out here too. It's something to where this like is very 
um, much wanting to happen right now. So I think the whole theme of this reading from the beginning with the Page of Cups and everything has been that there's this desire really strongly to communicate right now, a desire to be together, to come back together, to be in this union, and it's about to break, the ice is about to break here. Um, it feels like that for sure. And I think that maybe though that they, with this here, with the moon, you know, maybe there's certain things that they have to tie up right now and there's certain, it, but if it, it doesn't feel more like, it kind of feels like most of it has come already to the surface. Most of it has been to some level worked through and realized, you know, it doesn't feel like it's all the way pushed down. It feels just more like the remaining parts of sort of how this union will actually go and the, the things that we have to do to make that happen in reality, if that makes sense. Like it's something, like if there was a meter, it's like it's 80% or maybe 70, 70 to 75% there, but there's just certain fears that are still maybe holding it back. What is the outcome here between you both next one to two months? So we have, you don't know what you'll get, but it's worth the chance. Secret Santa. Someone is determined to make things right with you. Time is ticking for them to return. Don't wait around. So what I'm getting with this is exactly that. It's like a feeling to where some they're determined to make things right with you. Nobody knows what's going to happen when this comes in. They would have to push beyond the fear of the moon, and you would as well, of like this feeling to where like we only see by the moonlight we don't really know where we're going but we also know that we want to go there um so maybe some of you with this countdown here it is this feeling of like maybe that's why i saw the finish line in the beginning at this point we kind of have to decide if we're going to run through the finish line or are we just going to collapse and stay there um Let's get an advice, actually let's get this here to close up the reading and then I'll get the bowl. And then we will go much more into the outcomes and the extended, we'll get timing. We will get more messages from this person to definitely go deeper into this here. So what is the final word of advice for the viewer and any potential outcome for this situation? I'm here in the month of March though, could be significant, could be when this happens for some of you. What is the final advice and outcome here that the viewer needs to know? Yeah, this you're coming together with this person in the physical, I feel for a lot of you, um, face to face. So this is not, again, this feels like something which is tangible, we can touch it, it's happening in the physical world. So yeah. The initial meeting with this person was explosive, electric, and soul quenching. You have forever been changed by this interaction and they have felt it too. So we already know that. There's been a very intense connection here. Even if it was a, a while ago, some of this could be fresh too. Maybe you met somebody recently and it's like, it's not the end of the story between you both. They feel this, but there's such an intensity here. And here is the tiptoeing upstairs. You both are tiptoeing. So there needs to be some kind of big moment of like, here I am. You know, that feeling of like, I don't want to hide in the background anymore. And that really goes for both of you. So they're definitely with the holiday cheers here too. There could be definitely some physical coming together, but there's going to have to be some more solid communication and all of that. So we will look in the extent that any yeah, you could mirror each other, definitely. So let's go into the bowl now. These definitely will not be for everyone. These are very specific just for a few people who need extra confirmation. So don't worry if they don't connect with you. Okay, and you may want to turn down the volume. It can also be loud when I do this here.
And I just want to say too, to be honest, I don't really know if this reading is going to be for too many people because it almost feels like it is for a specific group of people and you would really be feeling this in your heart if this is for you. If you feel like this is not even possible or this person you feel intuitively this is just not it, then it's probably not for you. So just really listen to your intuition because the twin flame journey is not for everyone. It's a very unique journey and not very many people are on that journey. So we have Monica, we have Felicia, Shay, Frank, Yolanda or Yolande, Jamie, Peter, Buffy, Molly, Pam, Cynthia, Jose, Amethyst, Laura, Pernil, Robin, Azur, April, could be timing too, but definitely this is a name because I don't have months in here, but Cheryl, um, Lysel, if that's how you say it, Myrna, Arlene, Hannah, Janine, Judy, Melidia, Elise, and I think that's it for names. Yeah, that's it for names. We have a lot of, so for um, locations, we have Wyoming, Poland, Norway, Iowa, Russia, Knoxville, Santa Fe, Alaska, Kansas, Tampa, Orlando, and then here we have Taurus, Sun, Gemini, Sun, Aquarius, Sun. We have Life Path number 22, Marketing, Doctor, those could be occupations for you or them. We have 60s, so someone could be in their 60s or born in the 60s, and then we have Single, so someone is recently single or just, you know, someone single here. So I will leave it here. Um, I hope that this reading could help whoever it's for. It definitely was a very intense reading. Um, but let me know if this connects with you, if you have been feeling this intuitively. And if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And I will go over now to the extended and see a lot more what we can pick up on. So thanks for being here and take care. Lots of love.